Hi and welcome. Uh, this video will demonstrate uh, running the echo sign proposal uh, that we've created and made available for you via a blog post uh, as well as uh, it's going to be available under the additional reports button. So I'll take you out to manage reports so you can see that real quickly. And uh, here you can see additional reports. Um, you can also get it there. There's links to uh, those pages uh, down in the description of this video. Um, so well, the first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and run this, and I'll explain a little bit about uh, Echo Sign, uh, although the blog post definitely describes it better. But um, it's a service offered by Adobe where you can um, add fields to PDF files, upload them to um, Echo Sign, and uh, have your clients log in, um, sign in to see the documents, as well as uh, sign them online and um, enter uh, credit card information um, to make a purchase from you. And more importantly, this video will show you how you can use the sub-reports that were created for this report with the echo sign fields uh, to add to your own proposal or your own preference of proposals uh, within the uh, report designer. So first things first, let's go run the report so we can take a look at um, this creation. So we'll go to Manage Projects, select a project. Uh, here's the Reports tab. And once you've uh, downloaded and imported it, it will look like this proposal with images, uh, echo sign, and just go ahead and run that. And uh, here's what we added. Uh, we took a proposal with images, um, as you can see here, and um, on the second to last page, where we normally show on the last page the project summary. Um, oops, sorry, so I'm scrolling here. Let's go ahead and just scroll back up. You can see that there are um, signature lines, but uh, there are fields added here uh, for a signature as well as a date. And these are the echo sign fields um, that were added. Uh, this section here is a sub report. And if you do go now to the last page, uh, we also added uh, a page break after that uh, signature line, followed by another sub report um, that shows uh, some text here, the payment schedule, and then more uh, echo sign fields. And again, this is so you could then PDF this report right here, or export it to PDF, upload that to echo sign, and then these fields become active for your clients again to log in, see the report, and um, sign off electronically. And uh, here's an example of a uh, signed uh, document here. So let's just go through here. We'll go through the proposal and just scroll up a little bit. This is an example that was done. You can see that the signature um, has been filled in with a, with a date and then any information down here. You can see that uh, credit card information, expiration dates, addresses. So um, that's what's cool about uh, this particular report, taking advantage of uh, those echo sign fields. Now again, uh, this was a report that is available for download, but um, you may have already created your own uh, proposal reports and have your own uh, template style uh, within SI 2015 or maybe you would prefer one with the large images versus the the regular size images here um, so what I'm going to show you now is how you can use the sub reports that came with this report to bind those to your own uh, proposal reports go ahead and uh, close out of here let us jump into the report designer so go to start reports standard report designer and this will open this interface where um, if you go to open a um, existing report what you'll see is the proposal that was brought in here is proposal with images dash echo sign and you'll see two along the top here or depending on your list of course uh, this one says echo sign payment acceptance and this one says echo sign signature lines so these are those two sub reports that um, you saw we had the signature lines with a field in there uh, followed by a page break and then the um, payment acceptance terms with the the credit card uh, fields so you can add these sub reports to any uh, report you want uh, inside of the software so let's go ahead and do that and we'll do an example here we're going to create a new report based off of an existing report and in here I'm just going to choose say a uh, proposal uh, with large images now of course uh, we have install price ones that show phase labor with each price as well as labor items. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do that one. Uh, I'll choose this one here with the large images and just real quickly type a name. Proposal large images echo sign. And then next through the rest of this wizard. So just go through the motions here and hit finish. And this is going to pull up uh, the proposal 
um, canvas, if you will, inside of this um, report designer. So if we scroll down here on a standard proposal, you can see we already have uh, signature lines here on the um, report. Um, here's the project summary sub-report. So we're already using sub-reports um, actually quite extensively on proposal reports. Um, so we're just going to add another one essentially. So uh, for this example, what we'll do is um, we'll take out these signature lines and go ahead and delete those out of here. Hit OK. And we're going to pull down a sub-report control from the toolbox here and just add that right here. And then you can line up this box. You can move it over, uh, stretch it to the width of the uh, report canvas. In this case, the width is uh, 7.5 inches due to margin. So we'll just type that in. And you can actually shrink this down. It does not have to be expanded to uh, be the length of the actual report. It will auto expand when it uh, pulls in the data. So uh, now that you have a sub report control here on the uh, page, if you right click this, you'll have the option to bind to DTools report. So uh, go ahead and do that and pick from this list here. We'll go just through here and we'll find the echo sign signature lines. This is already a sub report. Go ahead and hit OK. And that will uh, add the report here um, to this um, sub report control and it'll actually generate that. And in our last example, what we did is we, we added a page break after that. So this is how you would add a page break. And there was a second uh, sub-report. And actually, that sub-report has its own sub-report, the, the payment schedule. So let's go ahead and add another sub-report control here just to see it again. And we'll add the, the other report. And again, uh, you can just type in the size you want this thing and stretch it the entire length. Um, shrink it down a little bit if you want. You can then you know move the canvas back up. And we need to bind a sub-report here. So if we right-click, bind to details report, this time we'll choose the echo sign payment acceptance. Choose OK. And there we have some bound sub-reports. And uh, what I want to show you is if we highlight one of these and you come over here to the properties window, you'll see the name of the sub-report. So uh, the re actual report name fills in with this little GUID code here. Um, that we're going to reference to pull it when generating the report, but we actually put the name that you've, you've named this in this case, Echo Sign Signature Lines, is what we've selected here. Um, same thing happens if you click any of the other embedded sub reports. You would see the name of them. So that's in case you ever need to go edit a uh, sub report. Um, and let me show you what makes a report a sub report real quick, too, as part of this. Let's publish this report because we're going to go run it and test it in just a second. So we'll go ahead and run that, but we won't leave the report designer. Let's go open one of those sub reports. So we'll just choose to open an existing report. I'll choose this, uh, the payment acceptance one, and you'll see this will open. Um, there's no real indication right now that this is a sub report, uh, but if you look up at your uh, report information by going to File, Edit Details, Report Information, you'll see that there's a checkbox here that says this is a sub report. Um, also, we tend or try to at details put the word sub report uh, as the first word in the description. So when you're going to create a new report, you know which ones are already uh, sub reports. And uh, this, what this little trigger means is it's just not going to show up in your general reports list. It's intended to be bound to a, a main or parent report. So um, here you can see this is the um, sub report with, with those fields in here. And uh, like I mentioned, there also is another sub report here. This one, which is the contract payment, we took that from the uh, contract report. This is a sub report that we've already built and attached it to uh, this. So you definitely can nest sub reports inside of each other. And this is a perfect example of that. So, uh, anyways, that is a um, sub report. Go ahead and just publish that. And uh, this time we'll leave the designer because we're going to now go run uh, the report we just created. And if we go through this list here, it's going to be uh, the proposal with large images, uh, echo sign, and you can expand this and run a particular you know, definition if you want. We'll do it uh, by location, run this. And in this case, we have a 14 or a 15 page report. So we'll go to page 14 and you can see that we've added those signature lines and we have a page break and it goes right into this. And uh, again, here's that embedded sub report that's in this sub report, the payment schedule or as the report's called the contract payment. 
Um, that's where that's displayed. So we were able to pull this off and let's double check. Yep, there's the large images. So uh, that's just a demonstration on how you can um, not only utilize subreports, but specifically these uh, echo sign subreports that uh, come with this uh, free report that you can download uh, from either the blog post or again, our support site. Thanks.